Holy crap. All right. Let me see if I can move my stuff over. <laughs> trying to see my screens, but I got too much stuff coming up. Give me two seconds here to fix all of this. I thought it was going to work to put it over onto the side, but it did not. So we're going to move this over here. There we go. That's a better. Hey, fellow agents. This is Agent Smith, and we are going to be playing Undying for the month of Halloween. At least as much as I can. We've got a bunch of scary stuff going on. Like me eating off camera. <laughs> Hopefully I can get the hang of this game. Jesus Christ. I don't think I have it loud enough in my ear. Oh yeah. Well, it the games that I get come about a week into the month. But I have yours already, and I can forward that on to you. I think I have your email. Shoot me an email. You said you wanted to get a hold of, um, of, um, oh, I forgot the name of the damn game. <laughs> I have yours, though, ready to go. Um, Overwatch. I have the code for that one, and I'll have that ready for you um, immediately if you want it. <laughs> so as soon as I, uh, as soon as I finish up here, I'll send that to you. You sound, sounds like you want it. <laughs> I'm checking all my controls and getting started here, but we're going to be going into this. Yeah, Overwatch, ready to go. So shoot me an email just to remind me so that way I'll send you uh, the code for that because I have it all ready to go. I don't think I want to fuck with any of the points or buttons or anything like this on here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Hopefully everything will be fine. Hopefully everything will run fine. Yeah, no worries, man. I get one early sometimes, so... Alright, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm taking this whole game in easy, because there's no way... It's been so long since I played this. <laughs> 1923, October. Uh, I'm tired of traveling, or fighting superstition and its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism, little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, People all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> Can you hear thing everything all right, Kush? Funny thing, though. The more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make my skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around... You don't like scary games, huh? ...with no real purpose <laughs> till the Great War started. I'm glad it sounds good. a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, weaving swords and <laughs> game's not bad. banshees. I saw their leader. This is done by a man who does scary stuff. Head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was gonna pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. <laughs> I woke up in a hospital. I was gonna say. Severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone <laughs> without me. I thought you'd play that. This is old school, though. The stone to keep. This was one of this was the first game that Clive Barker ever did. He's a horror back movie director. Find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago. Asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not and this game has been 100% unplayable the death of me. on PC life, since so Windows 10. Just hope it's not too late. And recently GOG released it, or at least they may have had it before, but they somehow figured out how to get it running. So I was like, oh shit, I can't believe this game runs. The only drawback is I'm going to have to rearrange my desk space so I have enough room for this. I'll see you later, man. You have a good day. It's that time of year, so I got to do scary stuff, you know? Alright, there's my journal. Each time I pass fades from memory, fate has a terrible habit of reawakening me. Most often, the unpleasant name of Otto Kissinger is the vehicle of remembrance, but not today. My old friend and com commanding officer in the Great War, Jer Jeremiah Covenant, has sent word. 
It has been years since he's he since I've heard from him, and his letter came whilst I was away, sitting unopened for nearly six months. My joy at reading his name was quickly replaced by sorrow, then by fear. Jeremiah was has fallen ill and requires my assistance at his estate in Ireland. I have not set foot on Irish soil since poor Gwendolyn's death, and I did not think anything could make me return. Could I have been responsible for her death? Being legally ex exiled from her homeland was painful, but nothing in comparison to my memories. How did she end up on the floor? How could so much blood come without a sound? How was that knife in my hand? And why was Kessinger, or Kaisinger, suddenly nowhere to be found? But Jeremiah saved my life, and I cannot deny any request he would make. The necessity of my presence is somewhat vague as, he, as his letter at, it, at times was incoherent. He speaks of his sickness as a family illness. No medicine can be can cure. I think that's that for that. Oh, we got a few different things on here. The stuff is a little bit hard to read on here. We got remembrances, stuff about this stone. The Gelzebar stone <clears throat> have carried this artifact ever since the day Jeremiah gave it to me following the battle with the Tr Trisanti. It seems to throw out a shockwave of, of considerable force, and ever since I required the stone, I have noticed strange sightings and visual anomalies. However, the power of the stone has its dark side. On occasion, a beast from beyond this world has attacked me. My only explanation is its appearance. Uh, for its appearance is this, is what, uh, hey man, what's up? It's Scaretober, exactly. We're playing, uh, we're playing, uh, Undying, man. I actually got it working. This game was broken for years on, uh, on, um, uh, Windows 10 systems. Anyway, I was using the stone's power for too long. I have not seen the beast for a while. Of course, I have not needed the stone. And then other craft. My Protoshi revolver, a six-shot weapon of forged metal grace, durable yet lightweight. My military piece has been seen many country, uh, country and spilled much blood over the years. I also have the ability to scry when I get to that point. Yeah, I never, uh, I never finished it, man. So I figured this would be a perfect timing for it. A spell, the scrying is a spell that allows me to see and hear past events from the geographic location in which it happen, I happen to be standing. It also casts an ethereal light on the enemies in darker uh, areas, giving me the ability to see my foes as well as find my way. I must be careful in its use as it has no offensive power and it seems to drain my energy for short durations. Learned men have stated that they believe the man that man has yet to unlock the full potential of the mind whilst traveling uh, to the Orient after the war, I met up with a local seer who told me that I was one of the chosen few, one of only a handful of individuals that he had ever met that had his, uh, this ability. He called it scrying. <laughs> yeah. He called it scrying. Uh, where am I? To be able to read portions of the past. Most of the people who possessed the power, he said, over the course of their lives eventually fell into disability. Mind tired from the barrage of images and sounds that can be heard from both the past and the present, the real and the unreal. I know I have the ability to scry because of the subtle words I hear calling within me at times, begging me to look deeper into the past, deeper at what actually isn't even in front of me. I am truly wondering if this is the gift I dreamed of us of or a sick cure. Curse, but I could speak. I can read too. Placed on me by an outside force. Alright, so that's all the stuff I got in my inventory thing. I just wanted to see. It told me to hit the button. So anyway. We're here at the manor. There it is. The rats are even feeding off of blood. Now they're not there. These old school horror games, dude. I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your house. I'm over here, lady. What are you staring at? <laughs> We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah's now bedridden. Follow me, and I'll show you to his living quarters. <laughs> I abhor 
apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. I'm trying to get the right camera angle. So let me bump my camera. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. I should be able to stream five days a week now, so I expect to be able to be on a little bit earlier. I had appointments I had to take care of today, this so I got a little bit late and I may so not be able to run as long as I want to, but good I time for an intro. Help him. I'll help him right into the grave, lady. This makes me want to play Alice. Boy, man, that fucking rotation's fast. I barely moved the camera. I made a full 360. Barely moved the mouse. I'm, I would be frightened by some of this stuff, but I've played this game's intro so many times in my life. Never completed everything that none of it gets to me that much. That much. God, Jesus Christ, turning around is so fast. I'm going to slow that down, see if I can check the controls for that. Holy crap. Turn that sensitivity just a couple notches down. Switch that crosshair to something more crosshair-like that's not as obstructive on the screen. Oh. Ducks, deers. A dot. There we go. I'll go back around to that. That's better. Well, okay, okay. That's much better. A pinpoint dot in the middle of the screen. I forget where I'm supposed to be going. Patrick, you nothing's behind me on camera. At your service, Jeremiah. A green screen. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my green friend. green screen that's not pulled properly. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Oh, Patrick, I came and back there we from go. the war only to find my it. entire Thanks estate for in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. <laughs> Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange know, events it's began the green screen. around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked I had it pulled estate, wrong. taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the help was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just the too split weak down the to middle? investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only <laughs> reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? I can see everything so that, I, that you guys see on the screen over here. <laughs> it's almost it impossible for you to make Lock that kind of a trick. Me. It disappears every time I look, right? <laughs> mm, I'm going to bore the shit out of you guys with journal entries. I've arrived in time, apparently just in time. Completely bedridden, Jeremiah is a shadow of his old self, appear appearing many pounds and a few shades lighter. His explanation for calling to me is still unclear. He speaks of strange happenings around the estate, problems that he is unable to rectify in his uh, weakened state and has requested that I investigate. I, of course, agreed. Before I could ponder where to begin my exploration, the servant who showed me Jeremiah's room screamed from downstairs. Often, where to begin is the most difficult step. Who's getting plugged? Also, let's check this room. Jammed. Jammed. Strawberry jam. Jammed. The Slender Man. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Slender Man doesn't have glowing eyes, bro. He doesn't have a face. Or eyes, for that matter. Ghost to ghost. Here's a booga booga. <laughs> you going down there? Okay. Can't see over the <laughs> over the Jammed. railing. 
<laughs> How do I run? Caplock says one. Control jump, so does space. Alternate and control. I could give like multiple of the same buttons, man. I should remap this shit, but I don't remember how to play the game, so there's no point in remapping. I'm gonna check all the doors. Stuck. Stuck. Stuck like honey. Jammed. Jammed like strawberries. Maybe you'll remember all the secrets and shit. Boy, that's some fucking creepy. Look, I thought there was a face and shit in there. Ah, oh, Jesus. There, now I can kind of see better. I'm glad to know that your guys' screen is just as dark as mine. <laughs> to be able to see what's going on. Jesus. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to relearn all the controls in this game. Okay. If you insist. Read a book? There's no books in here. Where'd you get that book from, bro? Can you describe what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. Hmm. Okie doke. And I would have barely, I almost didn't notice this room over here. Oh, I guess I'm going the right way. I recognize this. You know, it would have been creepier if he wasn't there, but just in the mirror. It's like a delay in the mirror. I'll see if I can aim. Bitch! Woo! At least it's not one of those games where the reload makes you lose all your ammo. Sorry, step all over your body, lady. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm tracking blood everywhere. Ah, you fucker. Reload is not R for some reason. I am definitely... Gonna have to check on some control schemes here. Yo, what's that noise? Look? No. See? Apparently not. Ooh, that target's in easier. Oh, bitch. Little bouncy fucks are hard to hit. <laughs> far as I got to test this game for Stop. working. I've been wanting to play this for a year now. And ever since I got my new computer, I'm like, dude, I bet I could run that just fine on here. And... Oh, 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 that didn't even do nothing. I think I hit the rail. My automatic reaction is to hit R for, for reloading. So I need to figure out my controls a little bit here. Left mouse, delete is select weapon. That's weird. Spellfire. Weapon action is alternate. Guess I should leave that. Because it says weapon action, which is not necessarily reload. K is to sneak? Not anymore. K 
Control is a speak is a creep. Can I run? That's what I want to know. One and two to change weapons, three and four to change spells. That should be enough. And I have no other spells. Okay, cool. Alright, that should work. And I can, uh... I can, s I can move slowly with the control button. I'm coming! Shot him, shot him in the butt! The reload feature, I guess, at alternate works. Those beasts were after me. What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers. And while I've never seen one before tonight, probably I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I That's exactly right. Explain. You see, there was this isle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. It's sold all right. Carved a sigil into each of the stones. Something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil. And this is why you don't read old books, dude. against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Do we learn nothing from the story of the, the army of darkness? And the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. It seems like more than a token, bro. You're like grasping it for your life. <laughs> I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what There's I really not much out there, man, I tell you. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them. And put an end to this mess. Next day in your guest room. Ooh. Oh, and I got a bunch of things. Oh, they got the dialogues and the conversations. Oh, okay, they keep adding them as I go. I got you. A piece of the puzzle, uh, the scream downstairs was the result of an attack by a beast. Something Jeremiah calls a howler. Similar to a dog, the animal was a pale in complexion and had claws as long as my arm and could leap several meters from a dead stop. I killed the fiend, but before I could thoroughly inspect the corpse, it vanished without a trace. Upon questioning Jeremiah, I am a little more unnerved than I was after seeing the howler. Or like ten howlers. I mean, but whatever. <laughs> Just CNN is a good one, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Then, uh, uh, then I was after seeing the Hallish. He told a story involving his brothers and sisters, an Isle of Standing Stones, and a sorcery book of his late father's. Apparently, the Covenant children, led by Jeremiah, went to the island and read from this strange book. He maintains it was simply a prank to scare his kin. He believes something from within the ring of stones answered back, raging the seas and angering the wind and shaking the earth. Since that time, Jeremiah has been visited by terrible misfortune. All his brothers and sisters have passed away. I recall one late night in Foxhole, Jeremiah showed me a picture of his youngest sister, Elizabeth. Yeah, you don't need that spank bank shit. No more than a teenager. She was so striking, I take back my statement. <laughs> no more than a teenager, she was striking. I found it hard to concentrate on his description of the others. Anyway, 
Jeremiah is now completely convinced they are indeed dead. Well, to be precise, he's not sure they have remained dead. Uh, I suspect that uh, these are delusions brought on by his memory of that day at the Stones. Otherwise, I can only imagine this is a terrible prank played upon a dying man. But if they are only delusions, why not inform me of them when we first spoke? Why would he not write me of such in his letters? Perhaps he did not think I would come. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, two steps. I already saw. And another journal entry. Boy, I keep it. I keep you riveted. <laughs> Ectoplasm. I'm gonna learn about what I can do with these things. At least I give it to you as you see them. The scroll Jeremiah gave, uh, has, uh, gave me, excuse me, has revealed a powerful spell. It seems that with a proper concentration and focus of my mana, I am able to release ethereal bolts of ectoplasm from my hand. Unreliable at far range, the mystical uh, damage seems quite effective in close quarters. You know, I can understand why some people would give it a bad review in the respect that this man who just said that, like, the amulet is of no power and all of that kind of stuff is also like, you know, but I also have the ability to cast uh, ectoplasm now, and, well, you know, this stone on my neck just happens to have a lot of skills. You know what I mean? The most useless weapon in the game, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I don't know why I'm pressing E on things. It's like nothing even loaded to that button. <laughs> this is a straightforward shooter. Take that. Hopefully I can use those instead of my uh, gun so I can save ammunition. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, okay. Have you noticed anything strange going on? Just you. Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during the commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. In a it's graveyard. Quite a mess. Miles from here. Oh, geez, with the entries and story. The butler said something broke into Elizabeth's room. Perhaps I should investigate. At least it guides you. I have to say, when I played this as a kid, I never read any of those things. And I was fucking lost, man. I was like, what are we doing and why is this game a thing? Jammed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not following you, buddy. Locked. Bethany's room key. Stuck. It won't let me explore. <laughs> oh, she's fine. Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she spit and curses and swings her nails at you like a an lazy animal. critic. She's a pity her mother died birth in her. Indeed. Reading is a good way to build death, story. I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, the waste and sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick and watched her wither away to nothing. Pity a young woman has to die in the spring of her life. Uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> poor man, seeing a ghost is never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Keep in the ground, Your stupid. knowledge is appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of reading, man. Oh, my goodness. I spoke with the maid about Lisbeth, the sibling's mother, Eveline. Apparently died while giving birth to her, and the housekeeper filled the void of her maternal absence. She said that Lisbeth was a very beautiful girl with a short, violent fuse who passed away from wasting disease. A wasting disease. I take note of the irony someone of someone um, who has uh, was so beautiful dying of such a heinous disease that calls for the destruction of their vanity. The maid said that the groundskeeper believes to have seen Lisbeth alive. Having seen Lisbeth with my own eyes, I can only believe, which he didn't mention before, by the way, I can only believe this maid's frightful testimony. 
I'll go down to the kitchen and try to find my way out of the gardens anyway. He didn't say nothing about um, Lisbeth. He just said that he saw a hound. Although we did see Lisbeth. Broken mirrors. I should be able to look. I guess not. Oh, books! <laughs> On nights when I cannot sleep, I look from my bed to the monastery out my window. The reflections of the water that separate us ripple across my bedroom walls, filling the room. You know, actually, I don't really have a big complaint on this, truthfully. Reading of them is actually pretty fun, and this is a novelist that made this game, so it's expected. I mean, he could have just wrote a book, but it's more fun to play a book. Anyway, the reflections of the water that separate the us ripple across my bedroom walls, filling the room with waves of moonlight. If it is quiet enough and the wind is still, I can hear them chanting. Their prayers roll across the water and fall upon my ears like a lullaby, rocking me to sleep. It fills my body with such a quiet peace. And yet, I cannot help but wonder how something that provides so much security could at the same time haunt me. At midnight, the chanting stops. The brilliant lights of the monastery go black except for a tiny glow that emanates from the entrance of the catacombs. As I watch that single light, I can see the shadow of the monks at the entrance. It is then that I feel a slow, creeping dread rise from my stomach as if the island somehow has a hold of me. I have overheard bits and pieces of a story from hushed conversations about monks who died a horrible death years ago among these grounds. It is said their tortured souls were put to rest within the catacombs and that their two brothers have stood guard at the entrance each night since. I cannot help about uh, wonder why. What are they waiting for? Or hoping to hope to ward off? Are they bound to the island with the same unknown force as I? The Lord works in such mysterious ways, but how can I just go how can a just God allow his own flock to die within sacred grounds? Surely there's another force working among us, one capable of pure evil. A loving God could never allow such pain and agony. Is it that force that eats at me at night and leaves my dreams unsettled? Are the waters enough to keep me safe? I wish just once I could lie in the grass outside the catacombs for a night and put these haunted dreams to rest. I must end these nightly visions and seek the truth. Elizabeth's diary, or poetry, apparently, as it was labeled. Alright, sorry for jerking the camera. I'm trying my best to move smooth. Oh, now I can look. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't seem like she wasted that much. Weird. Thought there was going to be something there. <laughs> I was getting my uh, balls up. Like, oh, oh, oh. All right, let's look. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> okay, that actually caught me, me off guard. Yeah, no worries, man. I did not expect that. Woo! I'm gonna keep this weapon out to see if it's of use. Well, there goes another maid. I think it's the man. I'm like 90% sure that the, uh... Pretty sure that the uh, that the butler's doing it. He's killing off all the maids. Hey, hey, that works. Hell yeah, ectoplasm, bitch. You okay, man? Did you hurt yourself murdering that lady? I saw a reflection behind me on the, on the TV screen. Now I'm paranoid. This is exactly what I was looking for. So
something to make me paranoid when I play. Thank you, Mr. Barker. You do know how to creep me the fuck out when I'm playing games. I, you know what's worse is you can't tell where that's coming from. Jump up to get that. Okay, cool. I don't wanna. Was this where she birthed? Is this supposed to be a baby? I'm paranoid. Let me read this real quick. Dearest mother, all is not well here at the Covenant estate. Joseph, my husband, who once charmed me with his good will and smile, now seems distant and reclusive. I realize that when we met, there are those imperfections uh, one must look past and that your heart helps you to forgive. However, Joseph's uh, strange obsession keeps him in the library at all hours of night. Seldom are, the, are we spending time together, and we even uh, more rarely, and even more rarely, does he want to exercise his husbandly right <clears throat> towards me. Winkity wink. I'm beginning to feel inadequate, especially when he talks of his desire for children prancing around the estate. What am I to do? <clears throat> I bide most of my time alone in the greenhouse, reminiscing of my sweet youth and the rich and gallant. Gallant uh, Peter Roacana, who would wait patiently on me and shower me with expensive gifts like my beloved pearl necklace. Things could have been different had I kept that social path. Instead, I feel like I'm a fool for getting involved with Joseph Covenant. His prime moments are, are being spent in his library with books twice as old as me. Apparently, my visage can't garner his attention. What dear advice would you give me, dearest mother? I'll be waiting for your response. Huh. I'm bleeding. <laughs> I had to get an allergy shot today. I hope that this letter finds you and your father uh, well. Tell father not to worry about his little robin. That I've left the nest, but she'll never leave his heart. With love, Eveline. Joseph's wife. Oh, there they are. Oh, it took you a while to find me. I gotta stop shooting. I gotta stop firing this gun. Walking through their blood everywhere. Yeah, you sneaky fuck. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. Notes and messages. Now they gotta develop the story, I suppose. It is truly a pity that my dear wife Eveline passed away birthing Elizabeth. She would have loved to see them all grow. I cannot help but think that she would have been able to tame this wild streak that they all have exhibited lately. A mother's soothing influence. I unfortunately cannot offer them this solace. I wish I could understand what brought on this recent behavior. I have received a letter today from Ambrose's boarding school. He has been expelled. I don't know what to do with that boy. With the behavior of the children so appalling, I have no choice but to bring them home. Perhaps I can find a tutor. I hope being under my watchful eye will calm their spirits. The last six weeks have been terrible, and the tutor is a complete disaster. In fact, the poor man just packed his bags and left in the night. Any form of discipline is hopeless with Ambrose and almost seems po uh, completely lost on the others. The only thing I have uh, been able to do is play, with, play to their interests. I have noticed that each child has their own avid curiosity. Strange to see it manifest at such an early age, but who am I to discourage the one moment of peace I can find with them? I know. I now understand why the children are behaving wildly. Jeremiah came to me frightened and crying. Several years ago, the children broke into my library and procured one of my research books without my knowledge. But how was I to know a 12-year-old boy would take interest in those dusty tomes? I do not know what passage they read, but I suspect that it had, to le had has led to the current predicament concerning their behaviors and eccentricities. Jeremiah says they woke the spirits of the island. 
Hopefully, I can determine what the children have done. Perhaps there is a solution. I have pored over the volumes of research, and I am no closer to understanding what Jeremiah and the children may have conjured. None of the incantations in the book could have caused this to happen. Calling a daemon or consulting spirits should not have such a long-lasting, disturbing effect. I even traveled to the stones. Nothing there gave me clues to what has happened. Perhaps if they have had only told me at the time, I would have more insight. Now any clues would be long gone. I have determined the stones are some sort of focus. Perhaps there is a reason. So many people have been attracted and repulsed by this land. It seems that my own fascinations with the standing stones has wrought its corruption upon my children. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so this was the mother and the father's rooms. And apparently they didn't need me to look. Fuck, these guys are still around. Jammed. Alright, I think I'm supposed to go outside. I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of all this now. I would like the safety of this home and all of its woofiness. I hear you. I hear you. Infinite ammo, sort of. They killed another maid. A servant's key. Should I be reporting all these deaths to somebody? <laughs> Won't budge. Jammed. Jammed. This house creeps me out, man, I tell ya. I don't wanna. That's the cover of the of the, of the video for me. His head's cut off in the bottom, but that's the way the image was done. Oh fuck! You want some of this, bitch? Oh shit! Can I go through the door now? Locked. Of course it is. The haste wing key, or the hast wing key. I guess we're going the other way. Ah, son of a bitch. Now I got this guy too. screen. I'm just gonna take a quick bite to eat. Jammed. useful to me. Jammed. I'm trying to gird my loins. Oh, fuck me. I'm 
stuck in the kitchen now. Oh, and climb up. Stuck. This house is barren. Limit on how many of these I can carry? I don't know. A lever I would have never noticed. Jammed. Jammed. Oh, hey. You must be who I'm looking for. Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. Dar. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe she is cleaning Air Kaisinger's room today. It's located in the east wing of the house. I have a key. Thanks. I appreciate your help. East wing. Fast wing. Whatever. The door to the manor gardens is locked. The cook says the maid is the only one with the key. She is cleaning Kaisinger's room in the east wing. Kaisinger. Well, that name might not ring true for the servant. I'm deeply disturbed that Otto Kaisinger would even be here. What the hell does that bastard want with my friend and his family? I can only be sure that when paths cross, he will get more than a stern word from me. I only wonder how he can he plans to... Uh, answer my questions when my hands are gripped tightly around his throat. Otto has done more to damage my reputation than I care to remember. I have no doubts that the that should he find out I've made it in, out of the Covenant Estate, he'll stop at nothing to foil my attempts at uncovering the mysteries that seem to be plaguing this family and my friend. Word. So we're going to go back to the room that I was previously in. Bop, 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 bop. It could be that easy because of that bitch. <laughs> Woo! Gotcha. <laughs> oh, she disappeared. Which way? A scary little Ice. 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 Take some ectoplasm. Where is it? What is he looking for? I know it is around here someplace. Get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that book, book, book. Not very accurate. You son of a bitch. Boom. My book. <laughs> we'll find out what you were doing. Reddish leaves swirl in the wind like lost souls in search of rest. Like an open sketchbook focused on my dreams, this land is forever pictured as a comforting autumn dusk. Replete with a golden sky with crackling river water and bubbling marshes that dot the land, it feels like a romantic artist's canvas. Upon further investigation, I have sensed horrendous visions of a gnarled doom decorated as picturesque facade in this endless autumn dusk. Spiny trees root deep into the foul earth, licking the ground dry of all that is good. Carcasses populate the brush, their putrid remains swallowed whole by the land, and the corners of this malevolent area are teeming with vicious ungodly prey. All whilst the grass stretches over this land, twisting together like veins of pulsating sinew. 
as if the ground were alive, keen of the inhabitants that parade on its back. Beady, black, soulless eyes flash across the air. Tiny, quick-winged bats streak through the bright sky, flying razors, waiting for the perfect moment to descend. As they swoop by, I see sharp, bloody teeth, a wicked, demonic smile. From the darting blurs, I hear an ominous, well, ominous whistling that chills my soul. They own the skies here. Wraith-like, hooded minions, uh, overseers without heart and soul patrol this land. Slash and stitch techniques permeate their faces and arms patched together like cheap quilts using the skin from the bodies of rank corpses. They gather and live like packs of rabid wolves instigating fights for supremacy. These abominations thirst for my destruction. They are mostly clustered around footpaths that seem to traverse upward along a cliffside. But alternate, alternate groupings are planted among watering holes in the hollowed trees. Further down the path, is, it is as if the shadows are swallowing the surrounding, surroundings whole. Without a penchant for a lot of logic or a drop of meaning, it is as if the only reason for this actually lies in darkness itself like royalty that rules the black void entombed in the night infinite. It is she, the eternal mistress of shadows. Hmm. Well. Well, and that's the best. Alright, I did not expect to go tangent in here. But I did exp- Oh, you're running away now, huh? I got you, bitches. Oh, oh, you think you're slick? Hiding in the shadows. I got the plasm. The great hall of paintings. There is the truth. Image becomes reality. He will rise again. The ritual continues through our blood. Fuck you, dude. Wee. used the east wing key not the bast wing key. but we are here in the east wing I unfortunately have to take care of some things so I know this one's a little bit shorter than I would normally do I don't have the time to continue running with this but we will get into this more unfortunately I had things I had to take care of this afternoon before I got home but I expect to be able to pull off longer better streams for you guys and more capable of doing like not getting interrupted from things so again i should be able to i should be able to give you guys five streams of uh five streams a week as i expect to be able to do anyway but um uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment like subscribe all of that stuff oh yeah and i was supposed to put this in the beginning of things uh, uh there it goes <laughs> that was supposed to go in the introduction, but you've been watching that. I love my Halloween time frame. God, I love Halloween. Anyway, I hope you, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this, and we will be continuing this tomorrow and the next days on. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Boop, boop, boop.